Installing software in GhostBSD is really easy. Yes, you can do it the traditional way that you would do it in FreeBSD. That is, you could go to the command line, you could get root privileges, you could then pkg update, which will bring in the latest list, and then search for the software using pkg search. In this case, we're going to look for Inkscape. And there it is. And then finally, pkg install, and then in this case, Inkscape. You will then get a lot of text telling you the dependencies it needs to install. And if you want to get rid of the software, it's pkg delete, the name of the software you want to delete, funny enough. With well, because PSD being a visual operating system, we're going to try and find a nice software package manager via the software station which will call up OctoPKG, which is a graphical front end for the text mod um, way of doing it that we've just seen. And on start, it automatically grabs the latest list. The boxes with a tick in are software that's already installed. And there's a large list to choose from, and uh, it would take quite a while to search down each individual one for the software that you need. Luckily, at the top, there is a search function where you can type in in this case we're going to look for inkscape again and there it is so it basically just mimics what we did on the command line but with a more graphical representation so click in the tick box will activate the cancel or apply uh, buttons you can see and if you're happy within the installation that you want to do click apply and you will be presented with this again it's another list of dependencies but in a little separate little box that pops up in the middle So confirm, and it will set the process off. There's a little status bar at the bottom. As you can see, we have speeded up a little bit. And when it reaches the end, then we should be fully installed. And there it is. Inkscape is now installed. And you can check anyway. Just go to graphics, and there's Inkscape. Very nice indeed. Again, if we go to software station, type in the password. And just make that bigger. The opposite of what we just did, we installed something. I'm just going to deinstall something. In this case, it's going to be shot well. It's ticked means it's already installed. Click it again and make the tick disappear. Then click apply. Will actually uninstall something. And if we look to graphics, there's no shot well. It's as simple as that. Equally easy is to upgrade your system or update the installed software packages. We do this via update station. Now this is an all-in-one. It will list any updated packages available for either third party or user land installation, but also the main system if there is any. And in that, it should tell you if there are any updates. In this case, there's some updates to some packages, some 30 updates, and two packages that need to be reinstalled. We'll change dependencies and change libraries, etc. And there's the reinstall packages. If there were any system ones to be installed, they will be listed underneath. And here we have a create boot environment backup. So when that's ticked, it will make a snapshot or a copy of the working environment as it is now. And then if any updates don't work properly, you can roll back to before you installed, which is really nice. And then that's it for updating. It really couldn't be any easier. GhostBSD, despite having many graphical tools for updating the system, etc., it really doesn't have one for adding a new user. So if you want to add a new user, you have to do it the old-fashioned way. So what we need to do first is that you start up a terminal session, you sudo s, or sudo as it is, or do as, just to gain some root privileges. I'm just going to type in add user, and this will ask for a username. Now this is not your full name, this is a username you want to go by, so you could call yourself Bob if you wish. But in this case I'm going to use test. It's always test, isn't it? Full name, test user. User ID, so leave it empty for default. 
Login group, again, leave it at default. And login group is test, invite test into other groups. Yes, we actually need to put three here. Makes life a lot easier. We need wheel, so you can gain root privileges via SU, etc. Video and operator, so we can access the video card. Everything runs smoothly and you can access peripherals. Login class default and choose the shell that you want. In this case, born shell. And we'll go for default for home directory and permissions. We'll leave it like that. And password. Yes, we need a password. Not use an empty password. No. Not use a random one. And we'll just put in an easy to remember password now. And again, unlike the graphical installation we did in the previous video, it doesn't tell you whether your password is weak or not in this particular way of doing this. Lock out the account, no. Just press enter. And it'll show you the uh, summary of the user we've just created. And if you're happy with that, we'll just go ahead and uh, finish this. And we'll test the new user by we'll log out. And we'll log in using the new test user that we just created. And there it is. The home directory now says tests home. And we'll log back and it says Robonog is home. So yes, it's very good. And to delete a user or remove a user, again, like we did when we created the user, we're going to root and we'll enter rm user for remove user. And the name of the user we want to remove, again, it's test. It'll ask you to make sure you're wanting the correct user to be removed. If you want the user's home directory removed as well, and if that's a yes, it will go through it, remove that user. That's only very basic user management, and you really, if you're using GhostBSD as intended as a desktop operating system, really, that's all you need. That's it for this video. For the next video, hopefully, we will try and customize GhostBSD to look and feel a little different. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. This and every other video on my channel has been made using FreeBSD and open source software.